So this video is for all my anyology type twos, right? Also known as the altruists. So twos are also known in the Enneagram as the, the helper, right? They're very um passive people. Um you know, you got different kinds of twos, so you know, not all of them are passive, but most of them are more followers uh than they are leaders. Um most of them are very people pleasing, very em empathetic. And I say most of them cuz I know two, you know, I'm going to talk about the two type of twos that I that I know today. Um and the reason for this video is about setting boundaries and learning to say no. The type two has to learn to say no. And, you know, today it was also confirmed the accuracy of the ideology report because exactly the situation that both these twos are going through is basically the same thing. They're being forced to put down boundaries because if they don't put down boundaries, they can um, be helping people so much that they never take care of themselves and they experience burnout. And sometime in extreme cases, you know, they'll be putting their health at risk. You know what I'm saying? Trying to help other people because they're helpers. That's what they do. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a, it's not a bad thing. You just got to set those boundaries up. The, the type two, their proclivity or the thing that, that drives them is helping people. Like, um, a lot of us, we help people conditionally, you know, meaning you, you know, you wa uh, wash my back, I wash yours, or you help me do this, I'll help you do that. The type two is a little bit different. They don't really need a reason to help you. You know, they just, that's just how they built. You know, that's just how they built. They, they built different, you know? So, um, and it's a wonderful thing. Like if you, if you need help, like twos are your, your go-to people. Like they're, they're your, these are your right hand mans. These are your wing mans. You know what I'm saying? Wing woman, whichever, whichever one it is for you. But if they don't learn how to say no, that like, that's it. That's what this whole video about. The type two, any allergy type two, the altruist needs to learn how to say no, they need to learn how to put their foot down and not let people run all over them. And I, you know, I also, um, um, relate to this because the type nines also have people pleasing qualities. I was actually going to do, I'm, I'm going to do another video on a triad because you got the, the, the different, um, the three, there are three, um, types within the nine types like um the triads that express express themselves differently so um right so this is the difference between the two twos the one two you know that i was talking to is like hey if this happens, this happens, this happens, I'm putting this boundary down and they just going to have to deal with it versus the other one is like, I can't say no. That's the difference between the two twos. One um, is going to be in balance because they know how to set them boundaries up. The other is is already out of balance because they don't know how to say no. You know, and this is like I said, this I, I I don't want this to be like in a personal attack or anything like that, you know, because I I really care. I genuinely care. I wish I could say no for them. But all you all you can do is just hope that people do what's best for them. You know, what I mean, and especially the twos, because the twos want what's best for everybody. Sometimes they don't even care about themselves. Like they just want what's best for everybody else. Like the two is a type two that be will be doing bad, but will give you their last. Yeah, you know I mean, knowing that they need it, you know. So that's really it, and it's it's not really a hard thing per se. Like this isn't a hard concept to understand. Like literally telling somebody no is 
It's really simple. When they ask you, no. The hard part is not feeling bad about it, I would say. It's not feeling bad about setting your boundaries. It's not feeling bad about doing what you need to do for you. And a lot of the times, the, these people that you're dealing with are sometimes close to you, sometimes they're not. And it's going to be a lot harder if it is somebody close to you to tell them no. But you got to do what's best for you. So that is the number one thing that the type two, the allergy type two, the altruist needs to learn how to do to keep themselves in balance because that's what this is all about. We are comprised with uh, all the numbers. You know what? Let me see something real quick. Um, So type two is... uh going to want to lean towards their path of uh of integration um i just thought of this guy so just give me a minute they're going to le- want to lean towards their path of integration i'm trying to see what path that is because i'm pretty sure that that path is the one that is going to bring balance uh to their two path so that they can um You know, they can set those boundaries for themselves. You know, learn how to say no. You know, and keep that balance. So, right. So, the two's path of integration is the the positive qualities of the four. Developing greater self-awareness, emotional depth, and authenticity. They learn to recognize and honor their own needs and feelings. Express themselves creatively and set healthy boundaries. So the type four is known as the maverick. Mavericks naturally do this. You know, mavericks might actually have the opposite to where they need to learn how to say yes more because they're just like, nah, bro, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. And you can't make me do it. You know what I'm saying? They might, they might need to learn how to say yes a little bit more. You know, maybe loosen up the boundaries a little bit. But for the two, they need to learn how to set them. So they're going to lean more towards the uh, type four. This integration allows twos to maintain their caring nature while developing a um, stronger sense of self. Right. So now the twos path of disintegration. Um, um, twos take on the negative aspects of eight, becoming aggressive, controlling, and manipulative. They may try to get their needs met through force or emotional blackmail becoming possessive and entitled twos can uh lose their unusual their usual empathetic nature and fall in the path patterns of unhealthy dominance and control so you got that opposite side of the two two to where you know they're unbalanced um in the in disintegrating into the negative traits of the number eight so man i'm telling you this if you don't have an ideology report today and you don't know you know, your different paths of integration and disintegration, I would highly suggest you get one. Uh, If you don't know your type, I would highly suggest you know that. Go click that link in the description. Um, It's going to take you to my website. You can buy the report. If you need any additional coaching, you can um, uh, click that button as well. Um, Or just email me at the arbitrator sanctuary at gmail.com. But um, yeah, this is something very important, especially if you're a two. If you're a two, you're not even sometimes you might not you might have been doing this so long you don't even realize you're doing it because it's like the more I, I talk, you know, to certain people, I understand that they don't even realize what's going on. Like you can you can only see it from the outside in sometimes. But yeah, that's it. If you're a number two, say no. Put your foot down. Don't let people walk all over you and do what you gotta do for you. It's cool to help people, that's fine, but you gotta have balance in that situation you know, integrate towards the positive traits of the type four. If you don't have your ideology report, if you don't know your type, go ahead, get your map today. Click the link in the description below.